What's going on, guys? It is your host, Fly Suing the Bill, and the swag is up to 5,000 trillion today, guys. We are going over what is the most underrated beast in the game. I think the beast is underrated overall, and we're gonna show you why. If you like videos like this and you want more, definitely hit that subscribe button, guys. We do videos like this all the time, at least pretty often. And with no further ado, I'm gonna show you the lineup we're doing today. We're gonna give a lineup just like this one to a scholar. Um, I think this team gets the job done. I really do. So what is different about this team here as we pull them up? We have our typical plant, little bit of damage, little bit of yam, little bit of vegetable. Then we have our dust terminator 43 speed and you'll see why soon enough. Definitely typical build here. And then we have our 43 speed um, double talk beast with a little bit of damage. Definitely an interesting build here. Does very dirty to opponents. So that's why we like him. So we're gonna see if we can pull out some wins and show you why this build is one of the best. And this is a team we're gonna give out to a scholar team, you know? I think it's a very interesting team to start. A lot of different possibilities, a lot of different ways you can win here. And let's see if we can get some Ws on stream and show you why the beast in season 19 is gonna do some damage. So already off the bat, one of the things we have here, and we probably wanna switch this out for yeah, we. this isn't the actual plant we're gonna use with this build, but that's fine. We wanna switch this plant out for a bit more damage off the start, but we'll start out with some yam here. Now let's start out with a little bit of pumpkin, get us ourselves a card draw. And one of the things is early, this guy goes straight to Oh, does he get me out first round? Wow, very powerful move. Okay, now let's go straight for defense. He used all of his cards here. So what's good about that is we can do a lot of damage here. It's story, it's story, baby. Hey, Haru. Yo, Haru, thank you so much for joining the flight crew. I appreciate it. Um. Kolar said, if the beast has post fight more speed instead of Contail, that's gonna be a 3k beast. Oh yeah, I actually do have a beast like that, interestingly enough. So this is interesting here. I think there's a high possibility of eggshell. He used a lot, of, remember he used a lot of cards last round. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact combination of cards I want here. But that's that's fine. We can get away with doing something like this. Yeah, the bird and beast pair is always a scary pair. Ooh. Okay, so no, he definitely doesn't have any. doesn't have any double talk so we might be able to get this one out now he wants to finish the game with he wants to finish the game with his beast now i think he doesn't have blackmail so he's forced to use that eggshell he had to do it to give himself a chance to win and just like that this is why the termi midliner is so tough because he can take a punch and look at this, the Stewie special right here. Not much you can do against this. I'll give him the free hit against my guy. 41 speed, we have 43 speed. And that's why giving your beast some bird parts is scary because that ups his speed while keeps his morale relatively high at 59. And we have Cray Banes in the building. By the way, Cray Banes and Haru Sky, make sure to join the Discord. That is where the community thrives and jives together. Um, we're actually giving a scholar away at the end of this game this exact build so if you're looking for a thriving community this definitely is the place and just like that we're sending this boy to the shadow realm look at this let's just shimmy on him here let's just shimmy on him this is what we do guys we get the w and look at that the victory so one victory already with this team is a very good way to start out 
with this team though this actually i don't think is the plant we want to use we want to use this plant now ideally this would be some damage instead but i think i want i like the hot butt better than i like the yam we don't necessarily care about poisoning too much with a lineup like this or do we i don't know See, Leaf Bug gives me an energy overload, so there's definitely gives or takes. The plant could be a bit better, but we're, we will decide on what plant to give out with this one. So switching the plant up, we're going to try one more game and see how this lineup goes and see if we can get a job done here. So one of the things that's interesting about a lineup like this, especially when you're playing against vegetable teams, is... Hmm. So we definitely want him to, you know, get him to just put up his defense next round, bait it out, and right there we save ourselves from getting vegetables. So he's at four energy. I'm at four, two energy. Um, at four energy here. He is in pumpkin range. I don't think he's going to use pumpkin. But he could. Um, let's go for energy steal here. He's at four energy, so he can still do a lot of damage. Oh, and he used his pumpkin here. Give me that back. And he can't steal that back. That's a good night for him. And that's perfect because now guess what's going to happen? Oh, what a combo. And we are going to go for an energy steal. He has a tail slap here. He might come and do a lot of damage here or he might block up. Let's see what he does. Typically, people want to use their plant cards in the beginning of the game. Um, ah, perfect. So he couldn't resist the tail slap and his aqua just doesn't have enough juice to get me out of here. And isn't that the perfect thing right here? Leaves me just enough room to get the vegetable and get the disguise. Oh, look at that. Boom, and now he's in a very scary situation. So the only bad thing about this team is we have too much energy. We don't need vegetable, we don't need disguise, we don't need all these cards. We actually have too much energy and not enough cards in a build like this. And now we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one showdown with his 43 Terminator and my 43 Speed Beast. So we'll see who's the better matchup here. Oh, the big crit. And remember, reptile cards are very strong. Very strong against Termi builds. Hmm. So I think we just have to use all our cards here, unfortunately. I wanted to save some cards for the Termi, but I don't think we can do that. I think this Aqua is a bit tougher to get out of here, unfortunately. Big hit. Big hit. Get him out of here. Get him out of our lobby. And then the Cottontail, and the great thing about Aqua only having one morale is, of course, big hit. Oh, guys, you already know what this is, guys. You know what? Let's, let's get us, let him get some damage on us while we charge up. Oh, he quits out, guys. He knew it was coming. He saw the Stewie special, and he avoids us sending him to the Shadow Realm. But we still got that W, guys. And there it is. You can see that this build is very competent against Termies. A lot of builds are going to struggle against this one. And it does a lot of work. Now, the plant, getting the actual plant, that's going to be really good um, against other teams. We still have to work that out. But once we get it down, we will get it down. But without further ado, we're going to announce the 10th Scholar, guys. I'm super excited because I know who it is. Maybe some of you guys don't know who it is, but I know who it is, and I'm excited about that. <laughs> but of 
course, everyone's always asking every single time. They're like, how do I become a scholar? How do we do it? And I'm here to tell you guys, very, very simple. Um, right here, if you go to rank check here, you can see a lot of people are checking their rank here. And what is great about this is it lets me know exactly who has been in the Discord, who's been getting with the community. And I like to talk to the community and ask who do I think is the most deserving of the scholarship, guys. So of course we have the application section. Make sure you fill that out. I have the read first section telling you exactly what we're looking for here. But realistically, guys, um, what's great about that is when you go to the Discord and you start communicating, you level up, and right here, we can see who the highest level people are. So we got Vincent number three, Nomar number two, already a scholar. James number one inches, already a scholar. Rapid just got a scholar today. Um, Silent, a scholar in another community. Ashley, scholar. Jayan, scholar. Shan, scholar. Jay had it. Oh, guys, what is, what is the lining underlying thing? A lot of these people who are communicating the most end up being scholars, and it's just one of the easiest paths to do it. Um, other than that, we are looking for people who, of course, have social media skills and that, but with, without further ado, look at me stalling, you know, trying to hype it up a bit. Guys, the 10th scholar of the flight crew. Um, this person, absolutely incredible addition to the community. Super excited for them. I know they'll do great. And the first person of our new team, guys, we have an alpha team. We have a Caesar team that Rapid's gonna be a part of, but our first member of the Bullseye team. Congratulations to Irish for being the, the technically the 10th scholar of the Bullseye team. Um, guys, I'm super excited. Irish, of course, um, just had a child, which is super exciting, honestly. Um, I know she's gonna do absolutely amazing within the community. And I have very, very excited because we have three team leaders for our three teams. Our first team leader, of course, from Team Alpha is Inches. Inches was one of our first scholars to hit 2K MMR. Absolute war path he was on to get there. So that was amazing. Our team leader of Caesar, of course, was JN Julius, our first ever scholar, the Forex God, the Crypto King himself. And our team bullseye, one of the people who has been making our social media oh so good, of course. Our team leader is actually a scholar from another community that's helping us out as we're, you know, in our first months growing, is none other than Dottie Dot herself. So Dot will be the team leader helping out um, bullseye here grow and hopefully helps our scholars get to a fantastic spot, guys. So again, guys, congratulations to Irish. Um, guys, definitely well-deserved. One of the best members here. But guys, we do have one other scholar to announce. And of course, very interesting, we have a very cool announcement at the end. So without further ado, guys, thank you so much for rocking with us. But we got to take off. We got to go. We got to get out of here. <laughs> I'll see you next time, Flight Crew. Peace!